हेलो गुरुन दिस इज सुमित कुमार और कल सी एस आई का एग्जाम हुआ है आप लोगों ने किया होगा और मैं उसके कुछ वीडियोस अपलोड करने वाला हूँ एक दो वीडियोस शायद ऑलरेडी हमने अपलोड कर चुके हैं और इस वीडियो में मैं लीगल जगह के बारे में बात करूँगा और ये भी जो क्वेश्चन हमने पुट किया है बहुत ही अच्छा क्वेश्चन है जो इस बार पूछा गया आपके सी एस एग्जाम में और अगर एग्जाम्स अच्छा नहीं गया आपके मन मुताबिक डोंट वरी अभी भी कुछ और एग्जाम्स हैं गेट हैं आप उनको बहुत अच्छे से दे सकते हो विद द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ दिस नेट दिसंबर ओके सो अपने आप को पॉजिटिव रखें और करते जाएं और इस वीडियो में जो मैं कॉन्सेप्ट देने वाला उससे आपको अगर कुछ हेल्प हो पाता है तो बहुत अच्छी बात है और उसको देखें किस टाइप से आप आने वाले एग्जाम्स में मिस्टेक न कर पाए जो आपने इस एग्जाम्स में करे हैं ओके सो स्टार्ट विद अ पॉजिटिव थाट दैट विल बुस्ट यूर स्कोर इन नेक्स्ट एग्जाम ठीक है सो so, ये जो क्वेश्चन है ये इसी बार का क्वेश्चन है और इसमें दे आर अबाउट द डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स विद द गिवन कैपोलमल एंड सम मोर रिलेशन अबाउट ए एंड ए स्क्वायर सो लेट्स सी टू फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन कि क्वेश्चन क्या है एंड इस टाइप के क्वेश्चन को हमें अप्रोच कैसे करना चाहिए ठीक है लेट्स सी सो क्वेश्चन लेट ए बी ए रियल मैट्रिक्स ए क्या है एक रियल मैट्रिक्स फाइन रियल मैट्रिक्स ऑल इंट्रीज है रियल नंबर With the cap polynomial, just a cap polynomial, आपने दे रखा है, x minus one की power cube. So a is of course three cross three real matrix. Correct? है? If I'm not wrong, let me check. This is uh, cap three polynomial is this because cap polynomial uh, degree three means size of the matrix must be three. Correct? है? नहीं कुछ बोला है तो three. Pick the correct statements from below. A is necessarily divisible. Fine. If the minimum polynomial of A is this. Then a is divisible. Fine. If the characteristic polynomial of a square is x minus one a cube, and the fourth, if a has exactly two jordan blocks, then a minus i square is divisible. Okay? The question is very straightforward. Very straightforward question. Question is, you have some three cross three real matrix with cap polynomial certain things. Then they are asking about what you can say about the matrix a. Is it divisible? What you can say about the minimum polynomial through the minimum polynomial? If the minimum polynomial of that matrix is A, does it imply A is divisible? Third, what you can say about the cap polynomial of A square? And last, if A has certain number of Jordan blocks, what you can say about this matrix A minus I square? Is it divisible or not? So this is a very straightforward question related to the Jordan canonical form, related to the minimal polynomials. Related to the cap polynomial and related to the divisibility, so they are all asked all these four concepts in a single question. Correct? Hai? So it's our intention how we should approach this kind of problems. Okay? So let's see. So let me put here. So let's start the solution. I will start. How to approach this kind of problem? ठीक है? कैसे सोचे? हमारा approach क्या होना चाहिए? वो important. Okay? So, what you have given? What are the given things? So, given thing is very simple. You have given me the cap polynomial of a. What is the cap polynomial? Cap polynomial is nothing but lambda minus one to the power q. You have given in terms of x. I am writing in this. Correct? It? So, cap polynomial of a is this. Its का मतलब a is three cross three matrix. Look at degree of the cap polynomial. Is equal to size of the matrix. So degree is three, hence a is to be three cross three matrix. They have not mentioned here. Remember, they have not mentioned. I am writing mentioning here. Why? I am looking the degree first. So this is the three cross three. Fine. So can you tell me what the eigenvalues of a? Eigenvalues of a are one one one. So this is the eigenvalue of a. Correct? Huh? So this is the eigenvalue of a. ओके, सो इस चीज को मैं थोड़ा सा यहाँ पे लिखता हूँ, देखा बाबा, आ जाए, ताकि हमारे पास ज़्यादा स्पेस रहे, ओके, सो यू हैव गिवन मी कैर पॉलिनोमियल ऑफ़ ए, दिस इज़ नथिंग बट लैम्बडा माइनस वन का क्यूब, सो इसका मतलब द आइगन वैल्यूज़ ऑफ़ ए क्या क्या हैं, वन कॉमा वन, ए तीन बार Then what is the eigenvalue of a square? What is the eigenvalue of a square? 
I values of a square is nothing but 1 plus square, 1 plus square, 1 plus square, and that's nothing but 1, 1, 1. So, what do you can say about the care polynomial of a square? The care polynomial of a square is nothing but lambda by s1 k. So, the care polynomial of a square is this. So, the third option is correct. Correct? Eh? So, use your brain without using your pen, right? So, third option is correct. See, I have not looked the option first. I have gone through, okay, this is the polynomial you have given. What do you mean by the eigenvalues? If I know somehow the eigenvalues of a square, I can write the cap polynomial, right? So, cap polynomial, I, can, I have written easily. This is this. Simple. Okay. Now, <coughs> so third option is correct. Now, let's come to the first. A is divisible or not. Okay. Let me give this matrix. Look at this. Look at this matrix. Look at this. What is this? So the care polynomial of A is a sign of this. But A is not divisible. But A is not divisible. Why? A is divisible because the minimum polynomial is also the same thing. So if matrix is divisible, kya theorem sota hai? Matrix is divisible if and only if the algebraic multiplicity is same as the geometric multiplicity for each eigenvalue. If you look at the algebraic multiplicity of lambda equal to 1, it's of course 3. If you calculate the geometric multiplicity of lambda equal to 1, so you go cancel and you will end up with x, y equal to 0, so y, z is equal to 0. So y, z is equal to 0 imply x, that's geometric multiplicity is 1. Hence, so algebraic multiplicity and geometric multiplicity are not different, and this matrix is not divisible. Okay, fine, no problem. Next, R, R, do we have another way? Also, we have another way. We can go through the minimal polynomial. A matrix is divisible if and only the minimal polynomial contains only linear factors, right? Over the field where it will have a two drive, where it reduce into irreducible factors and each irreducible factor has degree 1. So this includes all your field theory concept and everything. Correct? Eh? So it's so simple. Correct? Eh? So this is the way you also write. So this I leave as an exercise. Think this. This is the cap polynomial. So this matrix is not divisible. So A is necessarily divisible? No. Correct? If eh? you say that A is not divisible, that is correct. A equal to my identity matrix. If the minimal polynomial of A is this, then A is divisible. Look at it, this is the minimal polynomial. So minimal polynomial of A is this, then A is divisible. Correct? So first and second are uh, wrong options. So third is only correct. Now let's go to the fourth. If A has exactly two Jordan blocks, what they are saying? Look at this. A has exactly two Jordan blocks. Kya bula jara fourth option mein? A has two Jordan blocks. It has two Jordan blocks. Then what you can say about this? It is divisible or not? First of all, you should know what do you mean by the Jordan blocks? What do you know? What do you mean by the Jordan blocks? You should know. If you don't know, first read that. So this I leave as an exercise. First you should know what you mean by the Jordan block. If you don't know, then you are not able to do that. So first I request, go through it. Exam to ho gaya na. Ab to exam nahi de re na bhi. Ab jao ab padho isko. Jordan blocks hai kya. Correct hai? So that's the way to learn. Correct hai? Exam aega life mo. Aega, jaega. Exam ko bhi kaam. But mathematics hamei saath ke saath rahenge. Still you have a time. Learn that. What do you mean by the Jordan block? ताकि आने वाले एग्जाम्स में आप मिस्टेक ना करो गेट के एग्जाम ठीक है सो so, इस पे मैंने बहुत सारे वीडियो बना चुका हूँ बहुत सारे जोड़न ब्लॉक्स से रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन मिनिमल पॉलिमल कैर पॉलिमल यू कर दैट इट्स वन लाइन आंसर आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू गिव द आंसर आई विट एन इवन जो बेस्ट ऑप्शन आई हैव गिवन है बट आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू शूड फर्स्ट थिंक अबाउट इट इट विल नॉट टेक मोर देन थ्री सेकेंड थिंक अबाउट इट 
It's very easy. Write in the comment. If I'm not getting, I'll discuss in the next next video. But first you should think. It's very easy. Or if you think it's not, look for counter example. Think about it. If you don't know the Jordan blocks, you're not able to do that. Okay? So this this option I'd like to leave as an exercise. First you should think about it. Okay? So this is where. So thank you for watching my videos because a lot of the students has done this mistake in necessarily diagnosable parasitic polynomial they have lost hair. This is a tricky option. You should know. This is a very if you know the Jordan blocks, then it's very easy. If you don't know the Jordan blocks, you're not able to answer. So it's my first of all kind of place to you first understand Jordan blocks. Okay? Then you have to answer. Thank you for watching my videos.